seeing it early in bracket with the Sephiroth, and we are That's still That's crazy. seeing the Sephiroth go into this game one on PS2 against uh, one of New York's finest, Jen. Oh, listen, this is one of the top Palu players in the world, straight up. Jen plays Palu so beautifully. I always I always mention this whenever Jen's on screen. He has beautiful movement with Jen, with Jen, with, uh, with Palu, and he's just really good at optimizing space and knowing how far he has to be in order to use the most optimal punishes and attacks on his opponents. And you're kind of seeing that right now, just kind of using a, a, a lot of short hopping just to make up space. And just like that, boom! Oh my god, that was smart. Sorry. Yep. And I that know was really good. Jen has kind of had a new fire lit in his heart for uh, this recent um, part of the game because we've been seeing him top eight, lots of regionals, lots of locals, and just been exploding out onto the scene as of late. Yeah, absolutely. And here we go. Jen already taking that, again, Jen is showing why we're not just playing around and talking good about him. Jen is showing up, taking that first life from JPEG relatively quickly. And JPEG, thankfully, not getting an, an, uh, caught into an up air juggle right there and making sure he's getting back on stage relatively safely. But now we're going to be struggling to get back on stage with. Okay, no, we're good. We are just fine with Auto Slash. Yep, and Jen is still making good use of that auto radical, trying to get in that damage, forcing Justin to approach right now. And we have the dash attack going on in there doing that damage and just really good catch on that jump getting him up in the nair chain right now but justin getting in an own nair reversal of his own and now the wing is out uh, now ab absolutely saying that jpeg is in fact in this advantage this is the this is the peak telling to tell you that he's in disadvantage right now uh, with Wing, of course, you are getting an added jump, you are getting faster dash, and you are getting a little bit stronger as well. And now Wing is actually still here, because we are still at 84% against Jen's freshly new stock. Yep, JPEG is still chilling with the Sephiroth Wing, and looking to do all the big boy damage. There we getting go. Getting the Nair train and tying it up with a nice little fair. Get a little 41% on the board. And Jen is looking to do some serious damage at the ledge here, but Justin is not having any of all. Ooh. Just trying to go for the shield break, oh. but unfortunately, it is not popping quite yet. Wasn't enough. Uh, just wasn't enough um, from the side special, unfortunately. But it's okay. We take those. It's all right. It's all right. Almost a shield break. Definitely would be able to do so. If there was like two of them active, and holding that up smash would have been just enough. However, Jen not letting that falter for a little bit, even though they are slowly climbing in percentage to one another. Yeah, I love how Jen was kind of just staring JPEG at the ledge there. He's like, why are you jumping so much? I'm just I'm just going to shoot my lasers at you. Get that little damage in. But Justin is not phased by that in the slightest nice. bit, but he might be phased by that one. Yep, Jen getting the Nair train rolling online. Trapping Jen in the Palu loop right now. And Justin getting out of that space, just trying to get it back in this game. Control in the center, get it with a good old F tilt. Throws the Giga Flare to kind of just yep. cover the ledge right now. And Jen is just playing super patient, just watching Justin. Just throw out all these jumps and just tacking in the little, little damage. Lily just throwing out a bunch of hitboxes that Jen, uh, that Jen, that JPEG is going to get caught in a few times. Our uh, radical include is, is definitely one of the ones that Jen is abusing right now against someone like Sephiroth, who does kind of thrive in that mid range of vibe. Lily, as long as his sword is, really thrives in that mid-range area that Jen can kind of uh, expose by using um, Auto Radical and, of course, the um, Explosive Flame. But now, finally, on his last stop, JPEG might be able to take it back with 86% to his name and Wing also active, which is also a huge factor. Yeah, and over shooting the dash attack, Jen's putting him in itself in a little bit of a tricky situation. Oh, the Justin getting the jab block oh! and the read on out that was with sexy. the F smash. That was sexy. <sighs> that was so sexy. Stop. Hold on. Hold on. We're, we'll, we'll get back to that last talk in a second after a few of these replays. But hold on, the jab block, bop, bop. Jen rolled out, I think, and then the. F Mm -hmm. He knew. He knew. He He's knew. like, there's he nowhere knew. to run. He's I know like, where you will be. Jab, jab, trying to get on yeah, out. The tech, the tech change Oosh. into forward smash. You're hilarious. Headshot. You're funny. You're funny. God damn. That was huge brain. That was such a humongous brain. I can't even lie. Bigger brain. Uh, there's something right on the line. You can't let Jersey beat you. Come on, this is New York. What you doing, Jen? That was Justin Jersey. Get me out of here. <laughs> I was Justin You're Jersey. You're going right back. You will be. You were going back to Jersey. Brought me back to Jersey. So here we go. Jen. Hopefully, does not does not allow that first game to kind of um, dismantle him for a little bit. Trying to keep the same 
the same game plan he has with Palu just going into the second game. And clearly he is finally getting a really good lead on JPEG after a, a solid about 15 seconds of them kind of going back and forth equally. Yeah, and Jen is just playing nice. it safe and careful right now, just trying to find his in, and he finally finds it with the dash attack. But the Skittle is going to be giving himself a little Skittles. bit of a reset. But just running on in there, almost killing off the jab. Jen is in a very good situation to be closing out this dog, and close it out he does with the up tilt. Here you go. Just waiting out Jen's recovery, honestly. Was at, was at least short hopping just to kind of cover where it or react quickly if Jen was going to um, recover upwards or recover through a roll or a neutral getup or a jet up attack. You kind of have all those arms kind of covered for him by just short hopping at the ledge. And now we have Justy, oh not Justy, hello, JPEG. <laughs> in the, I keep looking, it's a habit. It's the same thing, it's Justin, it's JPEG. It's, I get it, I get it. JPEG, Justin. But he is struggling to get back to stage, at least safely without having to deal with extra damage that he does not need right now. 106%? Nah, you wouldn't need all that right now. Yeah, and JPEG kind of just gave Jen a free roll, just throwing in, throwing himself just into the arms of Palu. But he is still fine and dandy right now, setting him at the ledge, but Jen is just covering the spaces where he's kind of just jumping right now, trying to bait out option, trying to keep himself primed and ready. These explosive flames are ready <laughs> to just shut anything right on down. Oh, he's good. waiting to just go on in with the dash attack and get that stock up. But Justin just comes out barely unscathed from that situation. And Jen is still just throwing out so many dash attacks, just trying to shave off that stock. Nice, but finally Justin, getting bounce match with it. And Justin finally exploding oh. things up, but yo, Jen Speaking doing right exploding. back. Speaking of exploding, Please. Jen just said, BAT MY SHIELD! And then, <laughs> and then killed JPEG. So now Jen is kind of, again, chilling with a whole extra stuff to his name. Every percent that, J that Jen is racking on JPEG is just extra credit for just in case he loses this for his second stock randomly, like with the Jad Log Forest match we saw in the first game. So here we go, JPEG possibly on a, uh, a chance to get to a third game now. And Jen may be able to get this game to, a ga uh, uh, again, a, a game three. And Jen is wow. in a really good, favorable position <gasps> at the ledge, but Justin coming off with the explosive down air, not quite getting too, too much off of it. Jen still in control of this game right now, popping off with the explosive flame. Gets another one to just get a good old ladder going on <gasps> in, but the parry game, too strong for Jen. Yo! <laughs> so, so Jen just said, just said, I'm gonna let you hold, I'm, I'm gonna let you charge that. All right, I'm gonna let you charge it, and then I'm gonna parry it. And then do the same. Like he was already in his mind. He, he knew. Was, he, He's like, do it. Just do it. He Come knew on. he was cooking. He knew he was cooking. He was there. Oh He's my like, God. I got hit by it once. He knew. All right, I'm not gonna get hit by That's it again. That's so funny. Third strike. The only thing I really want to mention right here, it happened a little bit early in the replay, but J uh, JPEG was getting a little bit too um too antsy with his recovery options, and Jen was able to catch him almost three times with um with explosive, explosive Flame and, uh, and Auto Reticle multiple times on that ledge where he was able to rack up a lot of damage unnecessarily towards JPEG. So hopefully JPEG can, can not be so like abrasive with his approaching, even if he's in high disadvantage. Yeah, and we are taking it back to a more, much more neutral stage. We're closing in the borders, taking it to small battlefield. And Jen is already on the races with the Nair chain. Kind of nice. just trapping JPEG all around. Really good two frame with the down tilt. Still playing around with the Nair. Keeping him at bay with the auto radicals. All of this pressure is just so, so much. And Jen is just shaping up to be really taking this stock right now. Yeah, Jen is wanting to take this stock as fast as he can. Does not want JPEG to even have an ounce of, of space on this stage. Literally resorting to keeping him in the corner against the, the, the uh, ledge. Yeah, it takes away that space th that Sephiroth once had to just run around and do whatever he wants. But he the weight, the weight. Oh, I love that weight. Love it. I love that weight to just shave off or escape the damage of the Skittle and just sniping out that jump with the fair. Jen is covering all the options that just Justin is trying to do to just come on back and back air. He will in that spot. Nice. This is exactly what we're looking for from from Jen. Just really want to make sure that he is securing game one, or at least the first stock to be more comfortable with just kind of playing around with, with JPEG a little bit. Well, as JPEG really has to step it up, hopefully with Wing coming out pretty much in about 30% of a give or take, he should be able to kind of bring it back with the added power, the added jump, and the speed of Wing that it gives him. There it is. I feel like Jen is already inside the mind of Justin right now. Kind of just being where Justin is going to 
be oh, in that place and just no. falling victim to the explosive flame. Seth Rollins player moment. Mishap. I feel like it happens so often to a lot of Seth Rollins players where they just like they just SD. Just maybe they fast fell too too fast. <laughs> they fast fell too fast and. They couldn't get the recovery in time, so unfortunately Jen is now a double stock up against JPEG. Yeah, and then Nair just clipping the shield mm -hmm. there, looking to catch things with a down tilt, but Justin not giving into it, trying to trap Jen right now in the corner, but Jen is fighting his way on out with the lasers, the auto radicals, the good old dash attack reliable, bursting out onto the scene, but Justin will be clipping that stock with the back air. I want to just say, I like that Jen was just kind of in that little area underneath the platform, just waiting. There's no really need to, there's no big need to approach. So who, who needs to approach is Justin, who is now having all this corner pressure push put onto him with the explosive flame and the, com and the a combination of projectiles going his way that he can't really deal with as Sephiroth, you know? It's not a reflector, it's just a counter that he has. So it kind of sucks to deal with. Yeah, and you're playing from behind, so there is not much you can do in this situation. You are forced to be the aggressor when Sephiroth is normally more of that uh, defensive turtle kind of character. And just trying to let things yeah. rip with the S-Smash, yeah. but unfortunately getting poked out with the up tilt. This is going to be the end of this set. That's the end of the set. We had explosive game uh, game one from JPEG, but unfortunately, Jen was just like, all right, I'm in your head. Rent free. You yeah, he got me, the download. You're you going to let me just, just live in your head with no rent and in, in the city of New York? Yeah, you can't right. get away with that. Can't get away. You can't get away with that. And I just want to see this SD real fast. Yeah, just fast. Let's see. Just fast felt too fast. Yeah, he's uh, gonna make it back with the, the blade dash or the aqua slash. Mm -hmm. And he already jumped, I think. So, dang, you hate to see it, truly. So who I got next? I got Jules versus Vulgar. Bleh, Vulgar, Vulgar. That's my goal. That's <laughs> my goal. Kaiju. Uh, I'll, Another Sephiroth. This is three Sephiroths in the room. Want to watch? Yes. Welcome to the Seth what, party. What, what's happening? Where are you Hi. from? Where are he from? Oh, he's from... I see. I don't know if Krant, Croden counts as Mid-Hudson, but Vulgar Kaiju frequents Mid-Hudson and Westchester. So you usually see them at Contender Hudson Valley. That's where I'm from. Uh-huh. And Encore and um, Encore, yeah. Undiscovered Smash. They are ranked number seven in my region. Ow. <laughs> Thank you, numbers. <laughs> <laughs> So I I'm just seeing a Sephiroth takeover. Yeah. It's the Sephiroth takeover. Welcome. There are four Sephiroths in my region. 